Hi guys, in today's video, you are going to learn displacement in Unreal Engine. How you can apply displacement to your objects and how you can create displacement to your landscape with the help of Nanite Tessellation. So without any delay, let's jump into Unreal Engine. My name is Viral Shah and welcome back to my channel, Render Rebels. We are into Unreal Engine 5.4. You can also follow along this video with Unreal Engine 5.3. Now let's go to File. Let's create a new level here. Let's create an empty level and let's click on Create. Now let's add some lights. So we will go to window and we will add our environment light mixer. Let's click on each and every tab here. First skylight, then atmospheric light, then sky atmosphere, volumetric cloud and my height box. And now you can see we have this basic light setup ready in our scene. Let's just create a folder for this. Right click, move to and let's create a new folder and let's name it to lighting here. Okay, now what we are going to do, we are going to select all of this and move it upwards. We are now going to look at the first method of displacement, which is displacement on an object with the help of texture. And then we are going to move on to landscape displacement with the help of Nanite also. Let's go to modeling mode and let's go to create and let's create a rectangle of one by one and let's click on accept. Now to zoom in, press F. And now you can see we have a rectangle here. If I go to detail lighting and change it to lit, you can see we have this rectangle without any shader applied to it. Let's just go to wireframe first and you can see we are only having one segment here. To use displacement, you need to have various segments applied to your object. You can either do it in DCC app like Blender, 3ds Max or Maya but we are going to do it into Unreal Engine only. So let's go to model and let's go to subdivide here. As you can see, we are getting a circle here in subdivision. We want our shape to be maintained. So we are going to tell Unreal that please maintain my shape here. And how you can do that? Go to boundary schemes and turn it to sharp corners. And now you can see our plane is displayed correctly. If I go to wireframe now, you can see we have added some subdivisions. Let's increase this to around 8 and you can see now we have something like this. Let's accept here. And now you can see we have subdivision in our plane. Let's go to lit mode again. Let's use this castle floor here. Let's just drag and drop it to our plane here. And as soon as I do that and if I zoom it here, you can see we don't have any displacement here. We will go to deform here and we will add a displace modifier. Okay, as soon as I add a displace modifier, you will see something like this. If I zoom out here, you can see something like this is happening. It is due to displacement type is set to polling noise. Let's just decrease the camera speed here to around 0.1. And you can see this is looking something like this. We want to use the texture which is provided by Mega Scans for displacement. So we will switch from polling noise to a texture 2D map. As soon as I do this, you will see again it's gone flat because we need to tell Unreal that I am going to use a displacement map here. Currently it is set to none. We are going to go to content drawer and if you click on this ORD map, you will see we have our ambient occlusion roughness and displacement in one map. Ambient occlusion is in red channel, roughness is in green channel and displacement is in blue channel. Let me show you that. Let's just turn off all of this. Let's turn on R again and you can see we are having ambient occlusion here. If I turn on G here, you can see we have our roughness here and if I turn on the blue here, blue channel, you can see we have a displacement map. So we will click on this and add this to our displacement map. As soon as you do that, you will see we are getting some displacement here, but it's in a wrong channel. We need to switch it to blue channel here. And as soon as I do that, you will see displacement happening in our plane. Now, if you want to check again that you are having displacement or not, you can click on lit and go to lighting only. And now you can see we are having this displacement available. Let's again go to lit. To decrease the intensity of displacement, you can click on this displacement intensity. Let's take it up to 2. And now you can see we have something like this in our scene. Let's keep it up to 3 here. And now remember one thing guys, if you are using a UV scale in your material, let's say if you are double clicking on this object and you are using a tiling of 2 by 2 here, 
then you need to make sure that you use the same UV scale in this channel also. So you need to do two by two here if you are using two by two here to get the perfect displacement as you see in your material. So let's just click accept now. And now we have displacement on our object. Now you can see we are having too much polygons here. So what we can do, we can convert this to nanite to convert the object to nanite. You can double click on the object and just make sure that enable nanite support is turned on. Save that and then just close and apply the changes. And now you can see our object is converted to nanite. To visualize nanite, you can click on lit mode, go to nanite visualization and click on overview. We can now rotate the sun and you can see how displacement is working in our scene beautifully. This is the first method to apply displacement onto the objects. Now let's move on to the second method of applying displacement to landscape. To apply tessellation to the landscape, you need to enable nanite tessellations in the engine file. Go to the directory where you have saved your project. In that project, go to your config file. Then open up the default engine.ini file using any editor like notepad or wordpad, something like that. Just scroll downwards and here after a shadow virtual enable or before generate mesh distance will just add this to commands here. R dot nanite dot allow tessellation is equal to one and R dot nanite dot tessellation is equal to one. So what this will do basically it will enable the nanite tessellation for us in the landscape. Let's jump back to Unreal Engine. As you can see here, I have already created a landscape using a height map in Unreal Engine. Let's create a displacement for this landscape. To do that, we need to create a new material. I have already imported a material for this. We are going to use this forest floor, but we are not going to use this material. We are going to create a new material because we want to use the displacement in that. Right click and create a new material. You can use this for your landscape materials also by creating a master material and then creating an instance. Let's just double click it. We are now going to import all the maps that we have got from the mega scan. Go to content drawer. Just drag and drop all the three maps to our landscape material here. Let's start applying this texture maps to our material. Let's first get the base color to our base color here. Now let's go for our normal and let's connect the normal over here. Now let's go for this ORD map. If you don't know what is ORD map, what how to create materials in Unreal Engine, do check out my video which I have taught in the introduction to Unreal Engine series. I will leave a card about this video so you can check that out. So basically R stands for ambient occlusion, G stands for roughness map and B stands for displacement map. So let's connect R to our ambient occlusion. Let's connect G to our roughness and let's connect B to our displacement. But as you can see here, our displacement is off by default. So let's just click on this and let's just enable the tessellation. So scroll downwards and just make sure that you enable this tessellation. As soon as you do that, you will see you have now got your displacement and just connect this glue channel to your displacement. Now we need to have texture coordinates here to control the UVs. We can right click and write here landscape coordinates. Okay, and then we can connect this to our UVs here. So this will control our tiling of our landscape here. Now let's just set the tiling of this to one which is by default and let's just save this now. Once you have saved your materials, you need to do certain changes in the displacement of the material. So just scroll downwards where we have enabled the tessellation. Just open this displacement here and by default, the magnitude is set to four. Value of four is too high for the displacement. We will start with a lower value and we will increase it gradually. So let's start with 0.3 here and let's just save this scene. Let's apply our new landscape material to our landscape. Click on landscape here. Just scroll downwards in the landscape material. Make sure your landscape material is selected and in landscape material, just choose that material. Once you have done that, you can see there is nothing being updated here. To apply this material with displacement, you need to rebuild this landscape. So scroll downwards. Just enable the nanite here. 
and just click on build data. It will take some time depending on your GPU. Once it is completed, you will see landscape with displacement map. So let's wait for a minute. Now you can see guys, we have displacement in our landscape. Let's just decrease the camera speed and let's just zoom in a bit. And now you can see we have this displacement applied. But as you can see, you can find that this displacement is a bit strong. So we can change this. We can again go to our material here, master material, and we can just scale down the magnitude to 0.2 here. If you find that you need to change the tiling of your landscape, you just click on the landscape, change the tiling to let's say 3 here. And if you find that your displacement is a bit low, then you can again increase the displacement from your material. So you need to play with it and you will get your final result. And there you go guys, we have displacement on our landscape. If you want to check it out that whether the landscape is nanite or not, then you need to go to lay, go to nanite visualization and click on overview. And now you can see we have displacement in our nanite also. And this is how you can create displacement in landscape using nanite tessellation. If you like my video, please press that like button. Subscribe to my channel for future videos and share it with your friends who want to learn Unreal Engine. See you next time. Bye bye guys.